All right, I'm spending some idle time with two copies of Shadowrun and kind of faced with an ethical dilemma here. Um, one of these copies of Shadowrun is for myself, and one of them is for my new friend, uh, Captain Bill. And uh, I've looked inside, and the quality of the discs is suspect. Uh, one of these discs is definitely, definitely, definitely in much better shape than the other one. So, of course, the question of questions, you know, the moral question, you know, which disc do I give uh, to Captain Bill? Do I give him uh, the brand new looking disc? This is the better disc by far. And I think the answer to that question is that indeed, Captain Bill does get the better disc because I have played Shadowrun for many, 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 many hours. And uh, if I have a disc that doesn't work, well, that'll be a bummer for me, but at least uh, Bill will have the world uh, shaking experience of playing Shadowrun on the Xbox 360. This is definitely a cult classic game. It is not a game that many people at all play. Um, Halo, Gears of War, these are games that people are just rabid, excited about playing. And uh, Shadowrun, what the heck is Shadowrun? But from what I've heard from my brother that this game is kind of like one of those B-movie, you know, one of those cult classics that people still play even though it's been rated as probably one of the worst uh, games as far as uh, quality goes. I just love it. I just love it. I love the fact that you can be a human being, a troll, a dwarf, or an elf. And you can augment yourself with cyborg parts. You can buy all kinds of goofy weapons. And uh, you can cast magic spells, which is kind of a really kind of an interesting twist on usually these games that involve guns, grenades, and explosions. Uh, it's just uh, the, the combinations and the possibilities are almost infinite. And the game never plays itself uh, the same way twice. And uh, I don't know if uh, Captain Bill's going to like this game or not. I really have no idea. But for $4 in some sense, it's worth it's worth a shot. And uh, even if we only play for one hour, heck, a movie these days costs $9, $10. So, all right. Getting a run on Shadowrun. Hopefully it it won't be long, and I'll be playing this again with my brother. Hopefully the crappy disc is good enough to, to start the game up and play. And if it isn't, that means I might have to go to GameStop and ask for my money back. And that, oh my gosh, that might end up getting me arrested. So knock on wood, let's hope Shadowrun is up and running.